First of all, hello everyone. My name is Victor Fering and I'm the CEO and co-founder of the company called Shafti Pro. For those of you who haven't actually come across our company before or know what we essentially do, so we like to think of ourselves as technology solving identity experts. This essentially translates down to that we perform global identity verifications and we also like to solve the more complex challenges as well. Uh, we are a UK-based company with subsidiary offices in Sweden, where I'm currently myself, but also in Dubai, Cyprus, and Latvia. Uh, at the moment, we have more than 350 clients trusting us, and we support countries from more than 230 different countries, as well as over 150 plus different languages, including uh, Arabic text, Cyrillic text, Chinese, Japanese, etc. Before I explain more about what it is that we actually do, let me just jump straight into the problems that we're seeing as of today's society. So first of all, identity fraud has probably been an issue ever since online businesses essentially started happening. Uh, but another problem, which I think we can all agree to, is the current pandemic as well. So the current pandemic has essentially forced a lot of businesses to essentially digitalize their entire company. Uh, if they also dealt directly with the customers, they would also need to start using touchless technology as well. Uh, some other problems which I've also seen is that a lot of new neo banks are starting to emerge as well, the 100% the fully digital banks. Uh, and a lot of companies have also been trying to solve sort of like the, the sovereign identity technology as well, to essentially reuse identity verifications which have previously been verified for one company and then with another company instead. Uh, the final thing just to bring up in regards to the problems we're seeing is also the technology disruption that we're seeing as well. And this primarily goes hand in hand with the, the younger civilization. So the younger civilization, we, we like to think of as they are born with a phone straight in their hand. So just to give an example, like instead of actually walking into a, a bank branch office and verify yourself, they actually think that's strange and they would rather much rather prefer to do it digitally instead. So how are we then solving all these different issues and what is essentially Shafter Pro all about? So our company is essentially a compliance platform. And why I say compliance platform is because we offer more than one service when it comes actually to compliance services. Our core product is the identity verification, the KYC component. This is when we verify that you are essentially the person that you claim to be. Uh, we also have the AML functionality when we can screen individuals against PEPs and sanctions, global watch lists, even against adverse media as well. Uh, we do also have the KYB functionality as well, as one of you asked for, uh, where we can also verify businesses worldwide as well. Uh, and we also have what we call our added value services as well. So for added value services, this basically means that our proof of address certification, customer risk scoring, two-factor authentication, and a lot more as well. When it comes to our technology and so like what makes us unique in the space, so first of all, we offer end-to-end -end solutions to our clients. What this actually means is that we know that the regulations from around the world doesn't look the same. Just compare like Sweden as opposed to, let's say, Germany as an example. There are two completely different regulations that require different things. With Shafter Pro, clients can essentially decide exactly themselves what they would like to check and what they would like to verify, and also in what format they would like to verify it as well. So regardless if that might be a photo-based verification, a video-based verification, or even a video interview verification, clients can assist themselves. When it also comes to how we are actually performing the verification, so we actually offer two different models. We, ha we have the hybrid approach, which is sort of like our standard approach. That's when we verify information using the machine, like artificial intelligence and machine learning, alongside with our human intelligence team as well. However, we have just recently released our fully automated version as well, which only relies on artificial intelligence. So this actually means that we can bring down the verification time to less than one second as well. Uh, jumping back to the issue regarding uh, the current pandemic and a lot of businesses struggling to digitalize their process, we also think that it's super interesting to essentially build a, an easy approach as possible when it comes to integration methods. Uh, we have a plug and play solution. The client simply just pick and choose whatever services they would like and then have ready code in a bunch of different development languages. We, of course, also have RESTful API solutions, iframe solutions, SDKs, and we do also have the on premise installation as well. So, in case clients have specific requirements that none of the data can be transferred outside of, of the client system architecture, we can also deploy our entire system on premise as well. When it comes to some of the benefits and why clients are selecting us, so first of all, as I mentioned, like we do automate the entire customer onboarding for the clients. We're also giving the customers one of the quickest and the most simplest verification journeys this. 
Uh, when it comes to our products, uh, we also offer a very cost-effective solution. We're also in, very much in favor of startup companies as well. So we do have our pay to go version as well, as well as the com committed pricing plan as well. And we also try to help with our in-depth knowledge of compliance to essentially help clients meet the regulatory requirements as well. Uh, and here you can see some of the sectors I'm working with as well. Unfortunately, I think my five minutes were done there as well. So. Yes, uh, I was just about to interrupt you. <laughs> yeah, I had the time. Thank you so much, well. Victor. Yeah, thank you so much, Victor. Uh, I'll leave the floor for the judges for any questions. Yeah. Thank you, Victor. Great presentation. A uh, question for me around the human intelligence. Uh, where are they located and how are they trained, and specifically in regards to sort of the Middle East? Yeah, sorry. Can you repeat the last sentence there? I think your microphone was kind of, kind of low. You also bother a human intelligence team? Uh, yes, the human intelligence team. Yep. So you have the human in the loop. Um, where are they located and how are they trained? Yeah, so we offer a human intelligence team on, on, on essentially two different locations at the moment. We partly have our European team for essentially, let's say, when clients need specifically all the data to be kept within Europe. We also have our Asian team, which can also verify information. When it comes to documents specifically for the Middle East, it's roughly the same process as the rest of the world as well. Like our human intelligence team are trained specifically for different types of documents. So regardless if it might be, let's say, a Dubai document or a Swedish document, they know exactly which security features to look for. Thank you. Yeah. 